Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another St. Charles Stories episode. I'm Nate Went, Tourism and Sales Coordinator for the St. Charles Business Alliance. Also here representing the Alliance on our marketing side is Rachel Garland. Hi, everyone. So uh, we got a great episode uh, coming up for you guys as we are going to be learning about the Q Center today, getting to share the story of not only the Q Center, but their new general manager, Kimberly Mercado. So Kimberly, it's great to see you today. Thanks for joining us. Yes, welcome. Pleasure to be here. Good yes. morning, everyone. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful day as, as you, everyone gets to see behind you. So it's awesome and especially get to see some of the, the outside. But let's get to talk to, uh, about you a little bit. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself, you know, how long you've been in the St. Charles area for and maybe some favorite things that you like to do here? Yeah. Um, I moved to the U.S., so I'm originally from England. I moved to the U.S. in 2003, and my husband and I were trying to decide where we were going to make our home. We went on a little uh, recce, and we stumbled across this beautiful area, um, the local shops, the local restaurants, the river running through it, and it, with the rest was history. We made this our home, so I just fell in love with it. Yeah. Well, glad to have you here and glad that you can, you know, make St. Charles your home. So, you know, as you kind of talked about, you know, being over from England and then coming from here. So you studied from or studied at uh, Manchester Metropolitan University, right? Yes, correct. Yeah. So, um, so that, oh, go ahead. Yeah. That degree program there, um, it's a four year uh, program and you have a year in industry. So you spend 365 days working um, within the industry. So great experience. Um, my university had a partnership with Marriott okay. International. So we could select from several destinations in the UK or US. Um, so I thought, okay, let's go over to the US. Um, I picked Chicago. I came so, over and I actually ended up at the Schomburg Marriott. Okay. So I was like, well, where's Chicago? <laughs> they were like, oh, it's 45 minutes that way. Right. Um, but had an absolute blast. I was there for a year. Um, learned an awful lot. Uh, that is actually where I met my husband. Um, so that's how I ended up coming to the US. Okay, awesome. And so, you know, as you studied over there, you know, was there any like trends or like, you know, hospitality things that you kind of picked up that were different from, you know, how things are in the UK versus in the US? Yeah, several, several things. So the reason I selected the US was, I mean, it's renowned for impeccable service. Um, and it certainly didn't disappoint. Um, I mean, everything is service orientated, uh, friendly, warm. Um, so that was, you know, fantastic. Um, and everybody loves a British accent here, which is amazing. <laughs> so yeah, that went down very well. Sure. Um, yeah, England and Europe, you know, it's easier to travel over there. Lots of people have passports. Um, you know, in the U.S., there's a lot more travel within the U.S. It's such a vast country. Um, so that was definitely one thing um, I noticed. But, yeah, just loved my time here when I, when I first came here as an intern. Yeah, absolutely. And so, you know, if, if you, you know, didn't have to choose just between the U.S. and U.K., were there any, like, you know, uh, like exotic, like tropical locations that you're looking at, like where you're like, I'm going to go to Jamaica, we're going to go live on the beach or anything like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes when my husband and I go on vacation, um, selling hot dogs or margaritas or pina coladas on a beach seems pretty appealing. <laughs> I'm like, we don't need a car, right? We can just live in a hut and sell, sell things on the beach. Um, but I love to travel. I love it everywhere. So just different cultures, different cuisines. Um, th that really appeals to me. So anywhere in the world. Yeah, absolutely. So, well, let's get to talking about the Q Center. So Rachel, all to you. Yeah, so how long have you actually been with the Q Center? So I started at the Q Center in 2006 as a conference planning awesome. manager. And how have that kind of progressed into your new role as the general manager? Yeah, so conference planning manager, you kind of touch um, various worlds here at Q, um, work with various departments. That's definitely key to the success here and how I've been able to uh, move on up to this role and also working with all the different clients. Um, you know, you're the first hand with every client that comes through the door. Um, so that definitely helped me get to where I am right now, for sure. Yeah. Could you kind of dive into how you've been preparing for this new role and kind of refreshing things at Q Center? Yeah, sure. Um, 
as you both know, my predecessor, Tom Donahue, he had been at Q for 32 years. Um, he was just a plethora of knowledge um, of all things Q, from people to ponds, guest rooms to disc golf tees, um, clients to tree life cycles. Um, so I spent a great deal of time um, with him right before he was leaving, um, and he passed a lot of information over to me. Um, so that was extremely helpful. Um, and then just working with the leadership team that I have around me, um, they're all extremely knowledgeable and experts in their area. Um, so just rely heavily on them. And that's how we do it every day. That's awesome. What are some kind of upcoming goals that you have for Q Center? Um, I want to continue just with our success. Um, we want to be the premier destination of choice for training and meetings, um, as well as a place to work. Uh, the associates are happy, the clients are happy. Um, it's as simple as that, really. Yeah, absolutely. No, simple and easy to the point. Nice to remember. So I like yeah. it. Perfect. <laughs> So, you know, can you tell us, you know, about the Q Center with, you know, just kind of some general information on like what it is, you know, services and maybe some yeah. like details on hours and location? Yeah, um, it's such a unique property. Um, you know, the team and I are extremely proud. We love to boast about everything we have to offer. Um, in a nutshell, we're a conference center hotel um, with... 95 acres we're set on 95 acres it's distraction free as you can see i'm set outside right now um, and other than the birds nobody's bothering me uh, the property was built for learning and networking um, so all the clients come to queue because they know it will be a success uh, we've got a hundred and fifty thousand square foot meeting space flexible meeting space over a thousand guest rooms over this side to me here um, activities, indoor and outdoor, dining, bars. Um, it's just an excellent choice for anybody trying to get away from the hustle and bustle. Um, we're very confident. Anybody that comes out to Q, uh, they'll book Q. Yes, absolutely. I mean, you guys have fantastic events and we'll kind of get into talking about that in a little bit, but can you take us kind of through like a brief history of the Q Center? You know, a lot of people you know, it has a really rich history and yeah. I don't think a lot of people know about it with like, you know, being like a St. It was St. Dominic college and yeah. Hunter Anderson center. So can you kind of take yeah. us through like the timeline a little bit? Yeah. Initially, you know, we were part of the St. Charles country club, um, then taken over, as you mentioned, from a women's college to a professional firm, um, to what we are today, uh, Q center. So our roots and inception, you know, are all about bringing people together networking collaborating and and learning so we still have the historic 18th tee from the old country club is just across the way from me here so sometimes people will use that to do a little chip and pin across the pond um <laughs> so we're very proud of where we come from yeah yeah no i mean it's it's so you know amazing how you know the, the q center has developed through the years and you know you can see that rich hi history continue today so you know, especially for people that may not know about the Q Center, what's the, what's like one thing that you'd like people to like know and understand about the Q Center? Yeah, um, we're different from our competitors. Um, you know, we compete with other large properties, people looking for meetings and trainings, you know, whether it be Orlando, downtown Chicago, Vegas, you know, big destinations. Our focus will always be um, bringing people together, mm -hmm. uh, learning, training, we help nurture and cultivate organizations um, through, you know, the flexible space that we have at the property, the activities and the team building that you can do with the groups when they come to queue. Um, we just really center and focus everything around those key points. Absolutely. Awesome. So, That's also, wonderful. yeah. And so, Rachel, all yours. Yeah. So the Q Center, on top of all of those team building things, also hosts many outdoor events and galas, including Charlemagne, which was awesome, by the way. It was so beautiful there. Uh, it was actually the first time at Q Center, so it was a really nice welcome to the property. But kind of dive into some other things that the Q Center hosts as well. Yeah. So in addition to the, you know, meetings and trainings of all size, you know, one person up to a thousand people, um, we focus on fundraising and galas, um, and we love that the local community can rely on us, such as, you know, Charlemagne, which had about 400 people come together 
celebrate and recognize the community. Um, because we're so large, you were in the, the main ballroom that night um, where they have the ability to host the large fundraising events. Um, we can also do outdoor events, you know, behind me. Uh, so we're just blessed that we have all this capability. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, I mean, like I mentioned before, there's so much beauty and it was so cool just being on the property. Can you kind of tell us about some of your favorite spots on the actual campus itself? Yeah. So this is my new office. No, <laughs> but you can, you know, anybody can, there's Wi-Fi everywhere. So it's fabulous. Um, you can come out, uh, take a seat wherever you like. There's so many nice spots. Uh, I mean, the, the location behind me, we refer to as our um, courtyard. You can see the water feature. It has the Adirondack chairs. It has the fire pits as well. There's music out here. So you'll see ad hoc breakouts come out here or somebody might have an evening banquet event or a dinner. Um, you know, we're set on 95 acres, so there's plenty of trails and walking capabilities. Um, we just brought our bikes back. We had people um, taking advantage of the bikes. Even last night at 97 degrees, people were going out on the bikes. Um, so, yeah, it's wonderful. You'll see nature out here. Um, the deer will come out onto the paths. Um, it, it's just serene. It's beautiful. Yeah, definitely. I'm very jealous right now. It's cold in our office and it looks beautiful outside. So, um, so as you've kind of touched on, the Q Center is kind of the perfect place for team building. How do people kind of hone in on that when they're visiting the Q Center? Yeah, so a lot of people, you know, will choose to incorporate that. Uh, maybe that wasn't the original design of their meeting, but then they get here and they see the capability and then, you know, they want to incorporate a team building activity into their uh, training or their meeting. Um, we've got the outside space, uh, we've got multiple indoor locations, multiple ballrooms, amphitheaters, over 100 breakouts, so really you can do it inside or outside. Um, cool. We have a techno hunt, which is like a technological uh, scavenger hunt, which again can be done inside or outside, but yeah, so much fun. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. You know, and there's lots of great hangout spots and everything about that. But, you know, is there anything else that you'd like to talk about with the Q Center or, you know, some other information you'd like to get out there for everyone to know about? Yeah. Yeah. Business is definitely ramping back up. Um, we're, you know, so thankful that demand is continuing to climb. Um, we do have promotions out there right now. Uh, Short term business for 2022 and early bird for 23. Um, so you can certainly look us up on our website. Um, and people will get back to you. We are eager to take care of any needs. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, Kimberly, you did a fantastic job. Just one more question for you. Is there anything that you'd like to say to the St. Charles community before we wrap up here? Yes. Um, you know, we're so fortunate. We're not just selling Q, um, true partners with the Business Alliance. Um, we're so appreciative of everything that you do. Uh, St. Charles has really become a destination. Um, you know, when we bring clients out here, we're excited to bring them to St. Charles, see the town, have a great bite to eat, um, walk around, download the app, which is phenomenal. Um, and they're always just so impressed. Um, the brewery tours, just what the community has to offer. Um, and we couldn't do without you. So really, really appreciate it. Thanks so much for everything you do. Well, thank you. Kim. We yeah. really appreciate that. You know, we, we really put our hearts into, you know, helping out the St. Charles community. So, and especially, you know, we love promoting you guys because, you know, as we've kind of gone through this whole conversation, you guys do amazing things over there. So always happy to help promote that. Always happy to help get the word out. So appreciate it. Of course. Makes our job easier. <laughs> for sure. So, well, that'll bring us to the end of our St. Charles stories here. So Kimberly, fantastic job. Thank you for sharing your story and the share the uh, story of the Q Center. Um, you know, so again, everyone go check out, uh, you know, is there any, before we wrap up too, is there any places that people can find out information or stay up to date on what's going on over there? Yeah. So that would be qcenter.com, our website. Perfect. Yeah. Yep. Check, Thank check, you. Yeah. Check out the website and, um, you know, make sure to see, you know, all the amazing things going on over there. So. Um, with that, that'll wrap up our St. Charles stories here. We hope everyone enjoyed the episode. We'll have more coming down the road. So until then, everyone, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you all next time. Hey, everyone. Thank you again for watching our video here. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. So uh, if you haven't, go check out some of our other content. There's so much information out there to, to learn about our amazing businesses, 
people in St. Charles, and so much more. If you have some time, we'd like to share some information with you about some amazing, amazing things that you can take advantage of to stay in tune with what's going on here in St. Charles. So the first up being go to our website. Um, if you go to our website, you can see all the amazing things that you know uh, St. Charles offers uh, as we have so much information on there. You can find our happy hour hub, live music schedule, um, where to stay for a weekend, and so much more, especially to our events. Make sure to go to our events page, see all the events that are happening throughout the year, get them on your calendar because they are so much fun. You don't want to miss them. So again, www.sccalliance.org, go check all that information out and go have some fun and plan your stay here in St. Charles. Another great way to stay informed on what's going on in St. Charles is our What's Up St. Charles newsletter. If you haven't, make sure to sign up for that. You can also sign up for that on our website by scrolling all the way to the bottom of the page. In the bottom, there will be a place where you can put your email in and sign up for the newsletter. Um, it's a great way to stay informed on any of the major events that are coming up or anything going on in our businesses. We have businesses that put in deals, specials, and events in there. So it's a great way to stay on top of and check out some great places if you're interested. So make sure to sign up for that. Last is we've been super, super excited and happy about our Travel St. Charles app. It has been awesome to see the reception as people have really been enjoying it and getting to use it to its full extent. If you haven't checked it out, make sure to because you can take part in our new brewery tour challenge, where if you go to six breweries, you can win a t-shirt. Check that out. But we also have a little promo here that's going to talk about the app a little bit. So here's our little video on our Travel St. Charles app. 